This tutorial on Vertex Parenting is for intermediate Blender users. I'm using version 2.63a. So in this particular scene I just have a couple of objects, this cube and this purple object, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to parent this not just to the object but to a vertex within the object and the purpose is is to avoid rotations that you might not want in the object at least for this particular application so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one select this one use control P and parent it like usual and then I'll just rotate it on the Y axis and RY and you'll see that it's it follows along like you would expect right there right and there is just maintains that orientation the blue cube just follows along with it but maybe I don't really want that to follow along with it maybe I want it to follow it but I don't want it to follow it in the same way and so I'll show you what I'm gonna do so first I'm gonna press alt P and I'm gonna clear it so he's not part of that object I'll press this op select this object I'll go into edit mode I'm gonna make sure I'm down here in vertex select and then come out here to this point let me zoom in a little bit come out here to this point and I'll just click that point right there all right and then I'm going to just I'm going to separate that as a separate object and so I'll press P and I'll separate that selection and so it disappears but it's kind of still there I'll show you what I mean I'll tab out of this mode so still that's still the cube that's still the sphere and then right here if I right click notice it says sphere.003 so what it did I must have a 02 and an 01 in the scene as well somewhere but what it did it made that vertex itself a separate object actually if I press GZ you can see that there it is moving up in there and you can see the center of it is over where the original object was so I'm going to escape that and before I do anything, I'm going to move this back to the origin to where this vertex is now located. Though it is now a separate object. And so I'll go object, transform, uh, move the origin to the geometry. All right, so now it's in this location. If I move it here, now you can see that gold thing and the vertex move together like that. All right, so now what I want to do, I'm going to parent the vertex to this object here since it's basically at the exact same location as the other vertex was and so I'll with that, that selected in fact you know what I'm going to do first I'll press N and so I don't lose control of it I'm just going to call it vertex like that alright so now I know it's the vertex then I'm going to shift here get that I'm going to parent that to there so I just have a regular parenting operation going on like this. Now in this case, now I want to parent this to this vertex. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to pick up. So for instance, I have that selected. If I right click here, see it picks up the sphere, not the vertex. So sometimes I'll right click here and I'll go up into the scene. And since the, where is it? Up here. Where in the scene is that guy? He is called, there he is, Vertex. Since he was born from the sphere, like this, there he is. I had to hunt him down underneath, within it, within the sphere. You just see the sphere. Open that up, and there's the Vertex down there. So holding the Shift key, I'll click that as well. So now I've shifted, and now they're both together. Now to parent it, if I was just to press Control p I get my regular parenting object menu like this. So what I want to do is I want to press I want to go into edit mode and when I'm in edit mode then I'm going to press control P and it says make vertex parent and then I'll click that and say OK so now this is a vertex parent to this child object here so then what differs now in this case if I come over here and I get out of edit mode I come over and pick this object now notice if I rotate this on the Y axis or Y even though it's connected to it you'll notice it doesn't track that rotation it's kind of loose on its own let me zoom out a little bit you can see it or I'll just scale this up a little bit you can see it scale that up turn it sideways RZ RZ maybe or maybe or excuse me that one R will do RY and you can see the object still maintains its orientation like that all right so it allows you to you know prevent rotations if you don't want them to happen or and many other things as well. But this is just one application of it, and it's a powerful little tool. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.